Prince Harry will share his thoughts on burnout in his first public appearance in 10 months, speaking at an online lecture for U.S. firm BetterUp alongside tennis star Serena Williams. Prince Harry is to give a lecture on how to be more productive at work, by having a good rest. The Duke of Sussex, who took five months paternity leave when his daughter Lilibet was born in June, will share his thoughts on burnout in his first public appearance in 10 months. A promo for the talk features his photo and the slogan, Breakthroughs happen when you take a break. The 37-year-old prince has made just one podcast since he and wife Meghan signed an £18 million deal with Spotify in December 2020. The streaming giant is now said to be taking the deal into their own hands because of the lack of material. The couple also did a deal with Netflix 16 months ago, for a reported £100 million. There have been no shows yet. The talk will be screened to 100,000 people who subscribe to Better Up. Harry was made the firm's chief impact officer last year. Promos for the lecture show a photo of Harry alongside the slogan, Breakthroughs happen when you take a break. He will be joined at the Inner Work Day seminar by Meghan's friend Serena Williams. News of the conference comes after Spotify took the Sussex's podcast into their own hands. The couple signed multi-million pound deals with both Spotify and Netflix back in 2020, a decision Harry says he was forced to take after he was stripped of his security detail during Megxit. He will be joined at the Inner Work Day seminar by tennis champ friend Serena Williams, music star DJ Dean Ice and ex-basketball player Pau Gasol. Benarup says Thursday's seminar is intended to fuel personal and professional growth and will include interactive well-being workshops. Harry vowed to become financially independent when he and Meghan, 40, quit their lives as senior royals in 2020 and moved to the U.S. Spotify said it was looking forward to a full-scale launch of shows in 2021, but nothing appeared. And after the lengthy wait, a host of in-house producers have been hired to finally deliver content for the Royals. Bosses are currently recruiting new in-house staff to work with Harry and Meghan's Archul Audio for a show that features the voices of high-profile women. Despite the delay in recording podcasts, the Sussexes are believed to be making plans for an Oprah-style media empire that could reportedly see them fronting their own talk shows. Leading royal commentator Angela Levin says the couple want to earn loads more money after they filed 11 companies in Tax Haven, Delaware, seven of which are linked to showbiz ventures. It provides an intriguing blueprint for the couple's plans as they forge a life outside of the royal family. Elsewhere, it's reported that the royal pair are making more celeb connections. Meghan and Harry are understood to have asked for secret talks with Spider-Man couple Tom Holland and Zendaya, despite them never meeting previously. The Duke and Duchess were reportedly eager to rub shoulders with the stars, whose recent release took £1.27 billion at the box office. Harry vowed to become financially independent when he and Meghan, 40, quit their lives as senior royals in 2020 and moved to the U.S. Ms. Levin, who spent a year working with Harry for an authorized biography, told Sun Online, This all seems to be a big turnaround from their philanthropic and non-profit work to just pure entertainment. It suggests they want to earn loads more money. Highlighting Harry's appearance on James Corden's show last February, and Meghan's on Ellen's back in November, Ms. Levin said there are rumors the pair will hit Hollywood. Meghan feels that she wants to be a star in every way she can, and perhaps philanthropic work isn't giving them enough of that celebrity, she said.